Welcome everyone. If you're here, you're wondering three daily practices to be in alignment with your higher self and achieve your goals. So this is how I've achieved lots of my goals in the past. And this is how I plan on achieving my future goals, such as this channel. This is something that I have reviewed and, and put together really what it is that I'm doing and put it into a more uh, streamlined form for you guys. So we'll start with step, we'll start with step one. So I wake up and of course do the daily chores. Everybody does, you know, feed the dog, go pee, brush your teeth, whatnot. But what I pulled from my first step is, is I ground myself. I'm not going to say every morning. Okay. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm guilty. I, I need to, I need to get yoga or something going Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I ground myself. So Mons, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm doing my workout. So I work out, I work out at home. It doesn't have to be a gym. It doesn't even have to be a legitimate workout. Essentially, what we're doing in step one is grounding yourself. We are pulling your focus and consciousness into this body right here, right now. We are rooting. I, I root myself in the morning. And that's what I'm recommending here is root yourself in the morning physically. Pull your, pull your energy and attention and focus into right now. Again, you've got yoga. I personally, I work out. I do my own little home workouts. It doesn't have to be in a gym. Get something physical, uh, physical activity that pulls you in and brings in your focus in the morning. It really drives it. It gets your rooting process going. It doesn't matter how, how well you're doing, how many you do. All that matters is you focus on that moment and really just bring yourself into that moment. Okay, so step one, ground yourself. Step two, what I do is I review myself. And this kind of goes hand in hand with a lot of other things. You know, I, I remind myself what my goals are, I remind myself what my vision of myself is. I remind myself, um, who and how I want to be. What is that version of me that I want to be? And every day I remind myself, not that I'm not that version of myself, but what, what that goal is, what that looks like for myself. So you could call this a little bit of visualization. You could call this a little bit of affirmation. Um, ultimately, I'm calling this step, review yourself. What is that version of you? What do they look like? What do they do? How do they behave? What kind of daily routine does that person have? What, what does that person do in the evenings, in the mornings? Is that person working out, grounding themselves? Is that person um, coming home, working on content like I do, you know, getting through the day? What, what is that person? What characteristics? What are they doing? What is that version of yourself? So I review it. And I remind myself and I affirm and that really helps me personally. And this is where really the step comes in for me is it, it helps me on going to the daily job, you know, going to work or doing whatever chores it is that I got to get done that day. It really helps give myself that motivational push to go and do those things that are necessary and know that that is going to help sustain me as I push further to be that person I'm reviewing myself as wanting to be. So we get into step three. Step three, you're going to be yourself. Okay. This is all, all of this right here. This is a bunch of law of attraction stuff and a step that's been missing for a very long time that people have kind of brought in, kind of not brought in is the being. You got to be yourself. There's a lot of hiccups and stuff with law of attraction. I have videos in the future on that, but the core step that's been missing is being. And um, I don't think it's necessarily been missing. I think it just hasn't necessarily been worded as a step yet, but you want to be yourself. Okay. So you grounded yourself. You brought your, your, your core in, you brought your highest energy in. You brought your focus in, you reviewed yourself, all right? You reminded yourself, visualized yourself, affirmed it, pushed through the daily stuff to get towards this step right here, 
which is being yourself. You're going to make those steps. You're going to make that change. You're going to act differently according to how you want to be. Okay. You're going to, you want to be a less angry person. You're going to make the steps here and now to be that less angry person. You want to, you want to be a YouTuber or whatever. You want this, this vocation, that vocation, this job, that job, right? You're going to make those steps towards becoming that version of yourself that is in that position. And I think, I think one of the biggest things when it comes down to being that for me has, has helped. And this is why this is a daily practice. This is not a do it once and forget it. This is a daily practice to be in alignment with your highest self and achieve your goals. What really brings it in for me is it's not, and this is something I struggle with, yeah. Uh, it doesn't have to be 100%, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not saying it doesn't need to be 100% effort. Sometimes it's gonna feel like 150% effort, but it doesn't have to be a finished product version of yourself because we are forever growing. That is why we're here. Learn more, grow more, do more, right? It doesn't need to be finished. It doesn't need, doesn't need to be 100% perfect. It just needs to be in that direction. You tack on a little bit more of that version of yourself, version of yourself that you want to be every day. And a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more. And you do it every day. And you will align more and more to this higher, highest version of yourself. You'll pull in that energy of your highest self and more as you get into alignment with that version of yourself more headed towards your, your higher timeline, your, your highest version of yourself, all of those things. And you'll, you'll, it, it, there's not really a time on it. You could instantly, and you could take extra time, become that person, right? So each day you'll align more to be that person that you're visualizing. You want to be that, uh, you want to be at this job. You want to be at that job. You want to be this kind of person. Every day you're going to take a little bit more on towards being that person. And before you know it, you will have fully aligned and achieved and become that person because that's the ultimate trick to the step is to just be because so long as you desire to become, you will never be, you will always be becoming. So take it every day as a daily step. Every day, please. This is not, it's not an easy thing. It takes discipline. Number one thing this takes is discipline. So discipline yourself. And you will get to where you're going. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. But more than anything, more than those, just share it with people and try to get anyone that you might feel needs this message out, get it to that person. And let me know down in the comments if this was helpful for you. I will see you guys in the next one. This has been Cowardly Empath. Peace.